Brother Al at your service. Uh. Oh God. That's right. I see two witnesses. I see a witness. I see two witnesses. I see two witnesses. I see Fire proceed in front of their mouth and devour their enemies. These are the power to shut off heaven, no rain in the prophecy. I see two witnesses. I see two witnesses. I see two witnesses. I see two witnesses. Deuteronomy chapter 20. When thou goest out to battle against thine enemies and seest horses and chariots and a people more than thou, be not afraid of them. For the Lord thy God is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Come on. And it shall be, when you are come nigh unto the battle, that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people, and shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel. Ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint, fear not, and do not tremble, neither be ye terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies, to save you. That's right. And the officers shall speak unto the people, saying, what man is there that hath built a new house and hath not dedicated it? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in the battle and another man dedicate it. And what man is he that hath planted a vineyard and hath not yet eaten of it? Let him also go and return unto his house, lest he die in the battle and another man eat of it. And what man is there that hath betrothed a wife and hath not taken her? Let him go and return unto his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man take her. And the officers shall speak further unto the people, and they shall say, What man is there that is fearful and faint-hearted? Let him go and return unto his house, lest his brethren's heart faint as well as his heart. Think about that. Think about that. This is what an officer says to the soldiers, right? Before they go to battle. What man who ain't ran down on his wife yet? You got this brand new wife. And all of a sudden you soldier up. You ready for battle, right? The Lord is with you. You ain't had sex with your wife. Boy, you better get yourself back home for somebody else. Before you die, somebody else do it, right? What man is there that planted a vineyard, Right? You ain't even ate the first fruits yet. The harvest is, is, is ready. You got people laboring in your fields, but you ain't ate none of, the, none of it. Go back home. Eat, eat, just eat, 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 eat some and come back. Right? What man is there? How, now, now, this is what an officer says to the soldier. How about you? What is it? Right? That God has given you that you are not using. That you need to use before he give it to somebody else. Because what God needs to be done, this is on the spiritual side. What God needs to be done, it got to be done. So whether he going to use you or use somebody else, it still got to be done regardless, right? So what, what, what is it that you need to do? Right? That God told you to because here it is. These are the natural things. Hey, I need your man in the fight. You, you ain't go 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 do that. Come on, come right, come back with us. But how much more so, God? God told you two years ago. God told you thirty minutes before you watch this video. Get this done. Do that. Do that. God gave you a gift or a talent, and you ain't doing nothing with it. Right? How much so before he takes it and gives it to somebody? I'm probably walking to somebody else's blessing right now. I ain't going to lie to you. Come on, man. Somebody was probably disobedient. And God said, no, you know what? That career I opened up for Brother Al. Because this guy's not listening. Huh? He won't use what I told him to use. He won't. He won't use it. So I got to, my work still must be done. 
my work still must be done. So what is God? Hey, you ain't the first partaker of what? God gave it to you first. What happens when you die spiritually? Somebody else does and what God told you to do. And enjoy the fruits thereof. What happens naturally? Like with the soldiers. Hey, if you don't enjoy it, you don't take part in it, God going to get after somebody else too. Right? Another man going to take your wife because you dead. But when you spiritually dead, another man takes the gifts and blessings and all the rest of that God had planned for you. Because you won't do what he told you to do. His work still must be done. I don't even know what I'm titling this one just yet. We'll work it out on the editing set. But come on now. Think about that. This is a man telling the soldiers, look, if you ain't, you ain't, you faint hearted right now, go home because you're going to destroy somebody else and make them heart, their hearts faint. You're going to take two out of the battle. So we'd rather take you out of the battle than to take two out of the battle because you're going to talk to somebody and make them faint hearted as well. Y'all spirits going to link up. So why don't you go now? Right? You got to use what God has given you. You got to be the first partakers of what God told you to do. Other than that, you become spiritually dead and he give it to somebody else. There's a job that got to be done. It must be done. I had a, I had a, 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 a friend of mine who was uh, in a bachelor in state at the time. He told me and he said he was out partying in the bar and they got on a religious conversation. And he he's like, yeah, you know, I probably should be blah, 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 blah. I probably should be doing this, that and the third for the Lord. But, you know, she the girl said, you know what? You ain't got to do that. Got to find somebody else to do it so nonchalantly. You dead? Why? She knows that probably from personal experience. Well, she seen somebody else walking in her fruit. But because she was fruitless, she ain't had nothing. She was another tree with no more fruit on it, just some leaves. Right? What God do? So how she get that experience? How does he then get this wisdom? She's seen it. And she's confident that God is going to get somebody else to do it. Why is she turning up? She's okay. She's made it okay with that so she could tell him. That was his wake-up call. How much more so you? Do what God has commanded of you to do. That is your reasonable service. But also, if God has given you a gift or a talent, put it, put it to work. Other than that, he may give it to breath. Don't do it. I take it. Brother Alex, your service all the way around. On that side with it. You can't water down fat. I see two witnesses. I see a witness. I see a witness. I see two witnesses. I see two witnesses. I see a witness. Fire proceed and fire they mouth and devour their enemies. These are the power to shut off heaven. No rain in the prophecy. I see two witnesses.